Hi guys, welcome to my recording. It's on NVIDIA GeForce. Not only do we have the GeForce GPU, but also the NVIDIA driver, DKMS. One video down, right? So see, look at the numbering. One number less, you'll see what I did to achieve this particular setup. And let's have a look anyway at the code if you want to try out Hyperland with an NVIDIA driver, you got to follow, well, my video, but more importantly, I followed the wiki. Let's do that. Wiki, come on, Eric. Wiki, Hyperland, yes, we got it. And then NVIDIA is somewhere in here. Here he is, NVIDIA. It's a capital N in the URL, NVIDIA. And they say, look, um, give it a try, give it a try. It's not official, supported, and it might not work. And possibly, possibly it might work. And if it doesn't work, bummer, right? Visit us again in six months or a year, I would say. So this is what I've done until here and where it says it should work now. So. It's a few changes inside a uh, file. Basically, it was only this one that we needed to add to our systems, libva driver NVIDIA. So I, I'm, getting, I'm getting ideas here. I can add this without any issue to our packages. So you don't need to change it anymore. And you need to have to install QT5 Wayland, QT5 CT, Onyxel was there, libva was there so that's important to to see how did i succeed with what did i made make it not with arclinks b hyper which we have been suggesting just suggesting all along wow uh, that's the safest way still to go arclinks b sway arclinks b hyper because then you have one thing consequence of running this on arclinks xl is that xfce will fail in some aspects some applications will say, I'm on Hyperland, right? And this, I can't do anything about this. Neofitch is not from us. So he thinks he's on Sway and he's not. It's this Hyperland, you see it in the colors. So all of these things, yeah. If you start mixing desktops, you'll run into issues. Simple as that. And that's why we say Arclinks B Sway, Arclinks B Hyperland and stick with it. No mixing of desktops, but hey, I'm Eric, it's all mixed. But I'm forgetting XF XFCE, right? I'm, it, it shouldn't work anymore. I, I don't care about XFCE. I want this as my default with NVIDIA. So here it is, all these elements, we've changed them and I'm not gonna repeat it. It's gonna be uh, not interesting. I mean, check out the other video. And like I said, I'm gonna see if I can put this automatically in our system so we don't need to do that and i think it's very easy indeed and for the rest it's a manual work some manual work to add things to the modules in your make in cpio.conf and of course run it not this particular line but the line i've used in the video and there you go this is nvidia right super d nvidia there he is driver version there's a lot less i must admit i see a lot less i don't know why probably because we're hyperland because we have, we have much more information here right and then super q yes and then inc minus b wow pretty is here like this then we have oh nvidia driver device one Display Wayland, X Wayland, Compositor, Hyperland, Loaded NVIDIA. So yeah, we're definitely running NVIDIA and still have Hyperland. So this, for me, my hard work, where it works. But there are so many references here in this text from Hyperland, it may not work. Visit Hyperland in six months, in a year's time, on video of course uh, again and check if, if things have changed in the meantime all right 
enjoy hyperlint enjoy arc -Lace.